We now know that hydrogen-powered vehicles are safe, but let's discover more about the use of hydrogen cars. The market of hydrogen-powered vehicles today consists of three commercially available cars, the Hyundai Nexo, the Toyota Mirai, and the Honda Clarity, which all operate on fuel cell technology. This market of fuel cell vehicles is beginning to expand at an impressive rate. In 2020, the market size was valued at 900 million euro and is projected to reach 29 billion by 2028. Well-known people are already driving hydrogen cars. The Pope Franciscus and the CEO of the Shell Netherlands both drive a Toyota Mirai. Hydrogen-powered vehicles are especially useful for long distances. The cars currently available already have an impressive range of around 600 to 700 kilometers. This is more than double the average electric vehicle range. Currently, hydrogen refueling stations are quite scarce in most countries. Some see this as a limitation of hydrogen, but this is about to change. The number of hydrogen fueling stations worldwide has more than doubled over the last five years, with 553 hydrogen refueling stations in operation at the end of 2020. This growth is expected to continue, as there are already concrete plans for another 225 refueling stations. This increase in refueling stations will be driving on hydrogen way more accessible. Japan has the highest number of refueling stations worldwide. Most countries focus on refueling stations for cars, but China and France are focusing on refueling stations for buses and trucks. The Netherlands currently has five operating stations and plans for 23 more. With the rising number of refueling stations, you might be wondering how refueling a hydrogen car actually works. This process is just as simple as refueling a traditional petrol car. The hydrogen fuel nozzle looks and works almost the same as one for petrol. With a hydrogen nozzle, a temporary lock is applied during refueling. What's important in the process of refueling hydrogen is that the pressure in the dispenser should be equal to the pressure of that in the tank of the car. Otherwise, it is not possible to refuel the whole tank. But isn't it quite expensive to drive on hydrogen? Currently, yes. A hydrogen car costs around 60,000 euro, which is almost double the price of some electric vehicles. However, it is expected that the production of fuel cell vehicles will be scaled up very soon, lowering the production costs. The price of hydrogen fuel per kilometer sits between that of petrol and diesel. An increased demand for hydrogen could, however, reduce its costs by up to 60% by 2030. Both of these factors will hopefully make hydrogen a cheaper alternative by the year of 2030. Trucks, buses and other heavy-duty vehicles will already be cost competitive by the year of 2025. Where batteries now fail to meet the requirements for long distances, hydrogen can be a very good solution. So, how does it feel driving a hydrogen-powered car? Let's hear a bit from one of the Forza drivers, Leo. I'm Leo van der Eyck and now driving since eight years already for the Forza Hydrogen racing team. And to go into what are the differences between driving a hydrogen car versus a combustion engine petrol-powered car. Uh, since I'm 14, I'm already driving on, on petrol. Basically till 2016, 17, I've been busy at an, quite on a high level, a few years on professional level. And then driving the hydrogen car obviously is a complete new experience. Um, I think it's the best way to compare it with just an electric car because uh, we make our electrical power on board and powering basically the same kind of electro motors um, to push us forward. So, and then the main difference to a petrol car is that you, that you have continuous power. So I have to say is with, it, with the experience, I can say it's pretty, pretty awesome to drive. It's, it's nice to control. You know what you're up to. Uh, how much energy you have on board and how to play with it, basically. So as a driver, I think it's... Uh, I would recommend it, <laughs> let's say. We hope you're getting just as excited as we are about hydrogen. Want to learn more about hydrogen technology? Like, subscribe and follow us on our social media channels and stay tuned for more explainers in the future.